How's it going guys? Just got all moved into the new place. What better way to break in the new house than with a barbecue cook? We're gonna do some plate ribs. These are more like Czech ribs. They're not like di dino ribs. They have like three bones. These have four bones, but you still see the pretty high marbling in them. The dino ribs, for whatever reason, they're like seven, eight dollars a pound. These were six, about four and a half pounds. These are probably gonna take eight to 10 hours. So we're getting it started kind of early. I got a lot of stuff to unpack and got some yard work and other stuff on the honeydew list. So uh, it's been busy the last couple of days. Probably not gonna trim anything. It's gonna be a pretty simple cook. We're gonna go SP and G and a little bit of meat church, holy voodoo on top. So gonna keep it easy. Let's get this prepped up. When I'm doing any kind of meat or anything like that, if it's a real big cut of meat, I don't like doing it on like a flat dish because seasoning just flies off the sides, meat juices get everywhere. I like to take a little like baking or cooking sheet pan, so anything's gonna stay enclosed and you can dip and save all your seasoning, so. Just cut an X in the package. I like to go across the membrane, not marking up your meat. There's usually gonna get quite a bit of extra moisture on here, so I like pat them dry, just so the seasoning doesn't just like clump up too bad. Gonna make a pretty easy mix. Two parts 16 mesh black pepper, one part diamond crystal kosher salt, and then a half part garlic. Over top, I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit of holy voodoo. A part just means like whatever unit of measurement. It could be a half cup, quarter cup. You just do math. Pick this up at your local HEB. Uh, Academy carries it as well. This is just a coarse ground. This is gonna help create your bark and help uh, catch a lot of that smoke, but really good stuff. We're gonna do two things of this. One. Diamond crystal kosher salt, go get you some. If all you have is uh, Morton's kosher, that's fine. Plenty of people use Morton's. Salt. Then garlic powder. Uh, you can find granulated grade if you have, all you have is garlic powder. I haven't noticed a difference really. We're gonna do an eighth cup of this because my other, my other parts were in quarter cup measurements. There's your mix. Two parts, one part, half part. Uh, close the lid, shake it up, it's good to go. This is good on almost anything. If you can get the bulk stuff, just make your own blends. If you're just getting out, I always recommend just go out and try stuff. Like Meat Church is great if you're just uh, starting out. And I still use some of their seasoning blends just because it just tastes really good. And for the plate ribs, I'm basically just gonna season the top and the sides. Pretty much never mess with the membrane side anymore. I seasoned it heavily last time I did this, but I didn't eat the membrane, so I just wasted seasoning. It didn't do no good. We're gonna drop the towel on there. Just a little bit. I'm just gonna help the seasoning stick. Real heavy coating. I like to make like two passes with this stuff. Pat press, pat press. Don't forget the sides, folks. Listen to Chad's barbecue. He knows what he's talking about. A little bit of holy voodoo. Nice light layer, don't go too heavy. That's a nice looking set of plate ribs. Real heavy. Not not obscenely heavy like say pork butt or something like that. We're gonna throw this in the fridge until I'm getting ready to smoke. I gotta clean that smoker out. I haven't done a good cook in a while so I probably need to clean the ash pot out at least. So I'm gonna throw it in the fridge until we're ready. I'm gonna be using a Thermopro temp spike just to kind of track the cook. I'm probably gonna cook most of the whole way unwrapped. I, I might take it to like a buck 80, buck 90 and then wrap it in butcher paper. Color, look and tenderness is what uh, you really need to go to like don't listen to oh per pound it takes two hours every cooker's different my pellet smoker is different than, than that thousand gallon offset the, do it a lot and you learn as you go so we'll plug this in before we throw it on running a smoke tube for some extra smoke flavor light the top and let it burn for 10 15 minutes then snuff it out we're going to run at 250 degrees this entire cook tip for pellet smokers depending on the model leave the lid open during the initial startup till the firebox gets lit if not there is a chance of a flash over happening youtube it lay your tube on some foil and we're gonna lay our beef ribs facing bone side towards the hot spot three hours in Ooh, looking good already got a long way to go but it's looking good it's about 145 right now fix some w soft and some water Spritz every couple hours, or don't, whichever you want. All right, we're about seven and a half hours later. We're about buck 81, buck 82. 
Uh, just gonna go ahead and wrap that. I usually let these go all the way through and wrap. Once I wrap it, it should be done in about 30, 40 minutes. Gonna wrap it in butcher paper, a little bit of towel. Color on there. That's real squishy. Temp spike making this cook easy. Now we're gonna check for probe tenderness. This is, should be like a hot knife through butter. If you feel some resistance, throw it on for another 20, 30 minutes. Should feel no resistance at all. Nice and tender. Let's go ahead and unwrap and make some slices. Sir, and cut right in between all these bones. One person portion, cut one rib per person. You have a smaller appetite, cut it in half, do whatever you need to. Look at this beautiful bark, smoke ring, juicy beef ribs. Let's go in for some bites. This is one of the richest bites in barbecue. It's like, I always like to call it brisket on a stick. Gotta love this cut of meat. Gotta mm -hmm. give some up for the cat tax. Mm -hmm. When he's being good, he gets some barbecue. Beef ribs came out great. Personally, I liked when I used Holy Gospel as the top layer, but personal preference, turned out really good overall, so. If you like this kind of content, like, comment, subscribe for more. We'll see you next time.